feeling a bit bored so I thought I'd give my hand at making a connector and um, I'm quite pleased with it that I decided to um, show it to you guys. It's a Konami to Jammer adapter. Basically the way I first started off is to um, formulate a connection diagram. Now this is how I did it. did it on um, uh, Microsoft Excel. Now if I just do a close up. Now as you can see uh, that's Konami generic. I've got one of my boards is Frogger. Hopefully that will arrive soon. And one of my boards is Track and Field. Now if you have a look they're all um, 18 pins. Uh, 36 total. But some of them are a little bit different. For example, if we look at 5 volts, minus 5 volts, track and field doesn't use it, but Frogger does. Generically, it's there. And as we go along, if we have a look at F, um, one player button 2, on Frogger it's actually NC, and on Konami track and field it's two player jump, which is correct. Um, also what I did as well is if we have a look here down this line and down this line what I've done is I've also did equals and crosses. The equals means that a Konami generic the Frogger will equal that but a track and field against the generic is not correct. Speakers correct all the way through, one player starts correct all the way through Coin 1 is all the way through, your video green is all the way through, and so on and so forth. That way it gave me an idea of what is permanent and what is needs changing. The other thing I did as well is I did Jammer. Uh, Jammer's a little bit longer. Uh, let me see if I can slide it across. Where's my mouse? Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I did Jammer Generic, 3 button, Jammer Plus, which is a 6 button, Double Dragon Taito, which is my, uh, a board I've got, Jammer Street Fighter CPS 1, which is another one I have, and Jammer Neo Geo. Now, also what I did with CPS 1 as well with the Street Fighter is, if we just go all the way down, I did the kick harness as well. So we've got the kick harness as well there, so it tells you what pins go to the kick harness. So that's another one. So basically what I did is I went with Jammer. Uh, bear with me. Uh, I went with Konami Generic and Jammer Generic, which I may change to Jammer, 6 plus, uh, Jammer Plus. And I wired up all the permanent ones. So the permanent ones would be your video, your grounds, your plus fives, your speaker, your service, uh, start buttons, your coin buttons. And I did all of those. And basically what I did is now I'll show you the part itself. Here's the part. Uh, let's go to Konami, yeah, Konami part side. So what I've done is my permanent leads um, my plus five, my ground, they're permanently soldered to the jammer board. What I also did was this here. This is an extra five volt line, just in case it's needed. Um, might want to light up some LEDs or something like that. So we've got an extra five volt there. Now with the ones that are the crosses, the changeables, this is what I did. Now for example, you've got Sorry, this is a bit hard with one uh, one hand in the camera. You got your minus five there. It's got a crimp connector on it. Um, so what you do? So we just turn that over to the minus five. So what you would do is you would uh, plug it in just there. So you plug it in there if you wanted to use for minus five. If you don't, it just stays away. And it's got plastic sheet, on, uh, plastic cover on it, so it won't short anything. Fingers crossed. Um, also what I did is with the buttons as well so um, if we go to the jammer edge connector we know that pin 18 through to pin 24 is up down left right button 1 button 2 button 3 
Now Konami doesn't uh, Konami Track and Field doesn't use the up, down, left, right. So I've got connectors on them, and there they are, not being used. They will be used because this is a universal Konami, so they can be used. So they're there. With the three buttons, you've got your two runs and your your jump are there, those three there. They're coming in and they go in. And if I come around to this side, there they are. Oh, where am I? Where's my finger? There they are, just there, and they're on the connector. So I can pull those connectors off and move them around to whichever game, Konami game it is. Um, the way I did it, as you saw, is here. I knew that one player jump is pin F, so I put it to, so I did button one jammer, it is but, no sorry, button two jammer, uh, jump is your middle button, button two, so I went button two jammer and connected it to pin F. Two player run two will be button three of the jammer, which is pin 23, went to pin H of your solder side I think it is two player yep two player would be solder side for the jammer connector there so and that's basically how I did it it's a really nice one it's a universal one so I don't have to spend silly money um eBay these were selling for specific games only um for 15 pound but it did not have track and field because of the minus five volts it didn't have a track and field one I found a track and field one $26 plus $10 postage that was from jammerboards.com bit of a ripoff so I decided to just make a universal one myself um, and here it is cheapest chips probably cost me around about sort of 10 just maybe just over around ballpark ten pound is what it cost me to make that just to buy all the parts. A couple of quid each for the connectors. Uh, couple, uh, I think it was about four quid for these um, two point eights for a pack for a small pack enough to cover these. I think it was about three ninety nine or something. Uh, the wire. This is a wire from Maplin's. I think it's uh, eighteen gauge, eighteen AW G, which is good. Um, and then you got. I had quite. I've got quite a lot of these crimp connectors, and I got a whole pack of them already. So you could, although I did pay for them once upon a time, I can't remember. So you could technically call those free. Um, you got a shrink, heat shrink on there, and they're color coded. So that's red with video red. You got your video green. Turn it over. You got your video blue. You got your video ground. Uh, that one's got. A sheath over the top of it that's your plus 12 because it didn't have many colors in it that's your red for your plus uh, your plus 5 and also your sink one what I did with the sink is because again I didn't have enough colors is my the sink one I did it just there so you've got a little bit more heat shrink just on the edge there as well so we know that's your composite sink and that's basically it. I've rabbited it on. So I'll just give you another look of it. <coughs> and there we have it. Uh, Konami to Jammer. If I had the edge connectors, I could probably make any connector. And um, although this one is universal, I could probably make permanent ones as well, like a permanent Konami to Jammer um, track and field, permanent Konami to Jammer Frogger probably do all, you know I mean anyone really then not that hard once you've got your layout there on the computer like I've showed you um, this particular layout I'll just continue to add to it as and when I get new um, uh, what do you call it new boards Um one thing that you do need to remember though with track and field and that's only and only if you have a genuine track and field um, cabinet with the genuine coin door track and field the minus five volts dc actually goes to the coin door as you can see that's why i've written their coin door 
it gives it just reminds me that um genuine ones minus five needs to go to the coin door it's plus five minus five ground coin one etc and that's how it is so again having that minus five free means i can send it to the coin door uh, nice and easy there we go and that's it there we have it 10 minutes of your life wasted very sorry about that but i hope you um found it interesting <laughs>